Hey Capricorn, it's Goddess Puff and this is what your pets think of you. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Capricorn. What does Capricorn's pets think of them, Spirit? What does Capricorn's pets think of them? Flash shuffle, what do Capricorn's pets think of them, Spirit? Thank you, Spirit. Let's see. All right, we have frog creativity. Okay, they feel like you spend a lot of time with them. You're very creative with the toys you give them, the games you play, Red Squirrel Conscientious. This pet of yours may have a lot of toys. <laughs> or they're prepared for a new one. I don't know if their birthday is coming up or something like that. I feel like around this time of year, you always give them something new or you have some type of special celebration or something for them. So they're prepared for some type of creative way that you're gonna like spoil them with wolf communication. I feel like your pet has come, become so accustomed to getting gifts around this time or around a certain time that they're more active and more communicative with you. They approach you more, they make more noise, they speak to you more, they brush up against you more because they're adjusted to a routine of yours. I feel like you do something new and creative around the same time each month or each year or something like that. Over RNG is dwarf resourceful. Yeah, your pet knows that you give them a brand new toy or do something special or new for them around this time. They're adjusting to a routine. And if you're wondering why they're getting more excited right now, they're excited for this. They're prepared for this. I, again, I feel like it's a birthday for some of you. But your pet sees you as someone very creative <laughs> in the gift giving and communication. But let's get into the tarot for Capricorn. What does Capricorn's pet think of them? What do Capricorn's? Pets think of them. What does Capricorn's pet think of them? They just feel like you have endless toys, endless things to give them. And they may store or hoard these toys as well, or snacks, and save them for later. We have Judgment. The Star card, Aquarius, Hope and Healing. Four of Swords. Four of Wands. Overall energy is the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, they feel like you guys work really well together. They like you. I don't know if um recently you got upset with them because they did something. Just know that if your pet ever like tears something up or breaks something or pees on something or makes a mistake, they're all they're so worried that you'll be upset with them. They're so worried that you won't like them anymore. With the star card and the four of swords and the four of wands, it's like they want to come back in the house. They're sad about you judging them. They hope that they can fix things with you. Because with creativity and conscious, I mean conscientious, maybe they ran outside and they've been they've been gone for a couple of days, or like they they did something out of character. And they're worried that you might not be happy with them. Yeah, with Judgment, the Star, and the Four of Swords. They want to fix things with you. I don't see that you're upset with them at all, okay? But this is just what's going on in their mind, all right? If you had a pet that recently ran away, they're going to come back, obviously. They're going to be outside your door crying for you. They're just hoping. Also, if you've been sick or hurt recently, they're they're worried and hoping that you heal. But I feel like this person, I mean... <laughs> This pet, this is my first time doing pet reading, so bear with me. Your pet is like, they want to heal things with you. They want you to be healed. They want harmony. They want to come home or they want you to come home. They really, your pet really, really, really likes you. They love you, Capricorn. Clarify this for Capricorn. They feel like you're their best friend. Clarify this for Capricorn. Clarify this for Capricorn. So if you're ever upset or worried about something, whether it's upset with them or something else, they feel that and they worry about that. Whenever you're sick or sad or upset, they notice and they, they worry too. They hope that you're okay. It's like your pet worries for you a lot. Clarifying the judgment card is the Queen of Cups, Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, so they can see if you're stressed out about family or a person. They see that. And they try to cheer you up. Clarifying the star card is the devil Capricorn. 
Yeah, your pet can be a little wild. The Emperor Aries. Yeah, your pet's wild. I feel like you have you may have a parent that does not like your pet or they didn't at first. Your pet acts weird around an Aries or a Capricorn. Because this person may have like mood swings and they your pet gets anxious around this person because one minute this person could be very loving to them the next minute they're like mean so be wary of that your your pet may act weird around a family member in particular because they don't know what to expect from this person this person's all over the place one minute they're super loving and nice to your pet and the next minute they're mean as hell so i wouldn't I, I want this person to watch them if you need them to clarifying the four swords that yeah your pet doesn't want to keep going back to this person clarifying the four swords is the high priestess pisces yeah you know this you're aware because that's how they used to treat you 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 know this person has mood swings yeah seven of wands standing up for yourself don't don't allow this person with the four swords yeah don't allow this person to do that i feel like you have a family member or relative who puts your your pet outside when you're not home yeah, when you're not around, this person puts your pet outside or, yeah, they don't treat them properly. Clarifying the Four of Wands is the death card, Scorpio. Yeah, I feel like you're moving out or you're putting this person out. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles. So this could be a family member, a family member, a friend, a boss. When you're not around, they don't treat your pet. They don't give your pet any attention, any love. They, the, all they do is feed them, okay? They do not do what they're supposed to do. All right, she's the full card, Aquarius. So I don't know if you have some type of caregiver, especially if they're an Aries or if they're older or if they're Capricorn, Aquarius. This person, ugh, they do not treat your pet right. With the four swords, the high priest, the seven of wands. Yeah, they don't want to be around them. I feel like it's a, a, a parent of yours, someone older than you. Someone older than you, and they're kind of stuck up ish. It's like they, uh, they treat your pet very badly. This person is not a pet person. I would not leave my pet with them or pets. With the Four of Wands and the Death card and the Seven of Pentacles in communication, your pet wants to come back home. So if you do have your pet staying with someone and they constantly call you telling you, they're, yeah, they're making noise, asking for you or whatever. If, they, if you tell them not to let your pet go outside, they have put your pet outside. Or they have not taken them on the walks that they were supposed to take them on. They've confined them to a space and they give them no attention. They want to come back home. Yeah, with wolf communication, with the four of wands, the death card, and the seven of pentacles. It's like they want to be with you. They want to travel with you. They don't want to stay in this one place. I don't know if you're not allowed to have pets where you are, so you had to leave them somewhere. But they don't want to be there anymore. Your pet wants to be with you. They want to be reunited with you. They want to come live with you, come stay with you. Maybe you thought this was the best option for them so they can run around. Maybe you had to move to an apartment or a city area or something. They want your pet misses you. They want to be with you. Or whoever's watching them while you're at work or whatever, do not send them to this person anymore. They lie. They are not doing the things that they are supposed to do. They're not playing with them like you would. They're not walking them like you would. No, they're not. No. They're not harming them physically or anything like that. But they're not doing the things that they are supposed to do. Your pet feels like you work too much. You don't spend enough time with them. Of course that would come out but they miss you. All right, I'm gonna leave it there. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. If you would like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, which I'm always wearing, her Etsy link is in the description box below as well. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.